welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing some blizzard nails because it cold in Texas. Uh, it got cold very fast. One day it was 100 degrees and the next it was like 50. What's up with that? Uh, so I've already shaped and sculpted my nails. These are going to be a round shape because I'm digging that lately. And because it's gonna be messy, I'm going in with some liquid latex uh, to put around my fingers to make sure that I'm not getting too much gel on my skin. Uh, I really love this. It's cheap, I bought it on Amazon. It is really great for, um, yeah, making sure that uh, your design stays on the nail, or at least you're not getting any sort of gel allergy, unless you have a latex allergy. Watch out for that. Uh, so I'm gonna be using Vitro Matte White in order to make my snow. And to make my snow, I'm going to be taking this little dappin' dish and putting just a glob of that gel, uh, any white gel probably will do, and uh, spraying it with some just isopropyl alcohol in order to thin it up so that way it splatters effectively. Uh, because it is quite thick to begin with. The thinner, eh, in between. You don't want it too thin, not too thick. Uh, it took me a while to get the right consistency. Now I'm gonna be brushing it onto this manicure brush uh, pretty liberally so that way it does splatter uh, and just kind of flicking it on there, um, making sure to keep it off your skin as much as possible, which I epically failed at doing. Uh, it kind of just got everywhere. I probably wear gloves next time I'm doing this kind of design um, and then cutting off the tips of those gloves, probably more effective. Woo. Now to go uh, for that blue ombre jelly effect, I'm gonna be using Jewel Sapphire from uh, Vitro. And I'm going to brush that on, again, pretty liberally to this little sponge that I have here, just a little makeup sponge, uh, and then start dabbing that onto the tip of my nail and bringing it down to make that a uh, nice icy blue tip that I'm going for. Uh, you probably will have to do this in a couple of coats. Uh, I did two to three in order to make it uh, as blue as you would like. Um, yeah, two or three, I believe I did. Fancy. All right, now that I've gotten rid of all the messy bits, I'm gonna pull off this latex, which is just so, so satisfying. Pop. Ooh. Yeah, that's nice. Now that I have the background of my design, which is just the background snow, the background blue over that, I'm gonna put some uh, additional white, uh, particularly placed dots in the foreground in order to give this some really good dimension and make it seem like it is, you know, just a blustering snowstorm. Again, using that same uh, matte white that I had used for the uh, other snowdrops. Snowdrops? Snow, snow. Okay, so now that uh, I've gotten that background down, uh, I can't just do regular snow nails. Of course, I have to add some bling or something extra because I never know when to stop. Uh, I'm using this uh, Flex from Young Nails uh, just as a kind of base. Uh, give something uh, for those little rhinestones to adhere to. I'm just using these plastic plastic guys um, because I will be putting a clear gel over them and uh, it will you know, cover all those facets, make it not as shiny, so no point in going in with my expensive fancy Swarovskis. Uh, just my little cheapy plastic rhinestones. Uh, you may have to move uh, the gemstones around a little bit. Uh, gemstones, rhinestones around a little bit. Uh, make it look like they're not all matching. There's an art to it, messy on purpose. I'm going back in with flex here and capping, as I mentioned, all of those stones, making sure they stay. Um, I'm not really going for like a super shiny rhinestone look, so I don't mind that they are not, you know, as sparkly. Uh, if it was Swarovski, I wouldn't cap them. I'd just place gel around all around the sides. And because these are gemstones and they are close together, uh, I do want to go in with a no wipe top coat, so I'm not trying to wipe out any of that inhibition layer in between these stones. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ooh. 
And here is the final result. Yay, I am so happy with them. I'm happy that my nails actually match for once. Uh, I normally do one hand at a time, different designs. Um, but I was really feeling it. So these are my blizzard nails. I really hope that you like this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you later. Bye.